hello friends welcome back to the channel in the previous video we have learned how we can create our validations and in this video we are going to learn how we can create our own data table and use it in laravel inertia and react so let's go to our vs code now in vs code first of all let's create our route by going to routes web.php and inside our products group in here let's create a new route with the type of gate and give it a url of slash then i will redirect it to the index of products controller and i will give it a name also the name would be products so let's go to products controller and create our index method so let's go to our app http controllers and products controller in here let's create a new method with the name of index and inside here let's create a variable and set it to our products model then in let's select id name buying it image buying price and selling price from the products model then at the end let's get them all then after that we have to return our view so to return our view we will type return inertia because we are using inertia and react we will use inertia and it will accept two parameters one component and another one prop for that component i will type the path of my component which would be inside my products folder slash index.jsx we don't have to type the jsx part then for the props part i will send the products variable by typing products is equal to products now let's save this and let's go to our resources js and pages then products in here let's create a new file with the name of index.jsx then in here let's create our default function after that let's add our default parameters so one would be our auth and another would be our products now let's add our layout in here let's delete the index and add our layout by typing authenticated and importing it from layouts authenticated layout then let's close it and this will also accept two parameters one for user and another for the header so for the user i will type odd dot user and for the header i will type an h2 tag and i will type my products in here then after that let's give change our page title also by typing head in here and import it don't forget to import it from inertia js react and give him a title of pro that now let's create a table with a class name of table and in that table head i will create one tr inside the tr i will create one th for the image so the first column will be image the second column would be name third buying price then selling price and at the end i will create my action buttons so let's save everything in here and let's go to our browser and let's go to our products okay as you guys can see our table is ready now let's display our products in here inside our table so let's go back to our vs code and after the table eight let's create the table body and inside here i will map my products so the products that i get from the parameter i will map through it and i will create a tr for each of them then we have to create give a unique key for each of our tr so i will use the product id then after that i will create my first column which is the image and i will set that source to product image and give him a title as well then and the second column i will display the name then buying price selling price and after that i will create one more column for my action button so in here of my first button would be edit another button would be delete and the third button show the product so for 
edit and show I use link with the class name of btn btn success and for the delete I will create a new function with the name of handle delete now let's go and import the link also so let's scroll on the top and let's import the link from the inertia.js react so let's save this let's go to browser as you guys can see I got my data but the images are not showing so let's go and fix our images also so let's go to our VS code and if I scroll here in the storage app public in here as you guys can see I store my images inside my storage folder so to access them we, I have to create a symbolic link to create a symbolic link let's go to our Laravel documentation and into file storage then let's scroll down until you find the public disk then in here let's copy this code from here and paste it inside our terminals let's paste it in here press enter okay the symbolic link has been created successfully so now if I go to my public folder storage as you guys can see I got a new folder with the name of products image inside my public folder now I can access my images in here so now in the image part in the source in here I just have to type storage and concatenate it with my product.image so let's save this and let's go back as you guys can see I got my images in here so this is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next video